In this video, we are going to walk through a coding solution to the count keyword occurrences in comments REST API technical interview question. So let's jump in. In this question, we have two REST API endpoints. The first is the list posts by hashtag. So this is a get endpoint, which is API posts and takes a query string hashtag as well as a page. So this returns a JSON array of post objects on that page and has an ID, which is an integer and a title, which is a string. Pages are contiguous, so if page K responds with a status code other than 200 or an empty array, there are no further pages. Then we also have an endpoint for a post, and again, this is a get endpoint where we're API posts, and then we pass in the post ID and the comments. So this gets all the comments for that post. And so this returns a JSON array of comment objects for that post. Each has a text field with which is of type string, and if the status is not 200, we treat that post as having zero comments. So we need to implement a function that takes hashtag and keyword and loops over the pages until the list endpoint responds with non 200 or an empty array. For every post on each page, we fetch the comments and count how many comments text contain the keyword, which is case insensitive substring. And if the very first list request fails or returns an empty list, we simply return zero. If any later list request fails, we stop and return the partial count and we ignore pair post comment failures counting them as zero and we simply continue. And then finally we return the total count as an integer. So looking at an example here, we've got our hashtag, which is travel and keyword, which is great. And then in our mock data, we've got our pages here. So we've got two pages. The first page here has two posts. The first an ID of one and a title Rome and the second an ID of two and a title of Paris. And the second page has no data. Then we've got our comments here where we've got one representing the ID of the post with the and an array with one text, which is great photos. And then the second, which has two objects in its array, which text not bad and text great tips. And the output here is two. And the reason for this is because two of the comments have the keyword great, as you can see, great photos and great tips. And again, it is case insensitive. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's jump into the code and walk through it line by line. So the first thing I'm going to do is to initialize an accumulator for the running total of keyword hits. So I'll say let total equal zero. And again, we're using let here as we will be constantly updating this value. And then next, what I want to do is create a regular expression. So this will be a case insensitive regular expression from a keyword string by first escaping all special regex characters with backslashes to treat them as literal characters and then passing the escape string to the regex with the I flag, which indicates case insensitive matching. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just escaping all special characters and then making sure it's case insensitive here. So if you're not familiar with regex, I'd recommend brushing up on it. It's a useful thing to know. So next, what I wanna do is start an infinite pagination loop beginning with page one and incrementing until it is explicitly broken. So I can say for let page equal one, and then there'll be no termination as that will be called internally when an error occurs or we run out of pages. And so for each loop, we just wanna increment by one. And that's what we're doing with the plus plus there. Then I'm gonna open up a try catch block as we are going to be making network requests. And so here in the catch block, again, we know when an error occurs, we simply wanna break out of this loop. So we'll use the break statement like so. And then first thing I'm gonna do is create our list URL. So this will be the URL endpoint to get the list from. So I can say const list URL equals. And so the base URL will be example.com forward slash API forward slash posts. And then we add on a query parameter. So the first is the hashtag and we're using encode URI component. And this ensures that the hashtag can contain hashes, spaces, or non-ASCII characters without corrupting the query string. And then we're also adding on our page integer there as well. So once we have that, we can then make our request. So I can say const response equals await fetch list URL. So we're using the fetch API and we're also using await. And the reason for that is that we only want to pause this coroutine and wait for the network request promise to settle without holding up the event loop. Next, we want to check the response status. So if it's not 200, we want to break. So we can say if response.status does not equal 200, well, then we can simply break out like this. Now we want to get access to our post data. So we can say const posts equals await response.json. So here we're parsing the JSON body into an array of post objects. And then we're going to check if there are no post objects. Again, we want to break out. So if bang posts.length. So if that's falsy and, it, and then we negate it, which will be true. And that will only be falsy if it's zero. So if we have no posts, well, we can then as always just break out. Otherwise, what we want to do is we want to loop over all our posts. So we can say for 
const post of posts. So we're looping over all of our posts. And now what we're gonna do is send a get request to get the comments for that post. So what I'm gonna first do is create another try catch. And so this will check if there's any errors fetching the comments for that post. And if there is, well, we're actually not gonna do anything here. And the reason for that is because some posts mightn't have any comments and that's okay. So we just wanna continue on as normal. We don't wanna break out of the loop. And so now what I'm gonna do is create that post URL. So I'm gonna say const post comments URL. And what this will be is again, API posts, and then we're gonna pass in our post ID, and then we're gonna access the comments on that. And so now we're gonna send that request. So we'll say const res equals await, and then we're gonna use the fetch API and pass in that post comments URL like so. And then to get access to the comments, again, we need to parse the JSON. So we can say const comments, equals await res.json like so. And then what we need to do is increment the total by the number of comments that match the regular expression we defined at the top. So we can say total plus equals comments.filter. So how are we gonna filter on it? So for each comment, we're gonna use regex here. And so we're gonna, that regex value we defined at the top here, we're going to test it on the title. So test c.text like so and then it is that length. So the number of matching comments that match the regular expression is going to be added to the total. And then finally, once we finish up our outer loop, because we've either run out of pages or an error has occurred, we simply want to return our total value. So let's run the tests and see if they pass. Perfect, the tests pass. Let's run the test suite to make sure all the tests pass. Perfect, they all passed. So very simple question here, but you'd be surprised at how many people slip up when they've got the time pressure of an interview. So if you want to try out the question for yourself, the link to the question is in the description and hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. It helps the channel out a lot and I will see you in the next one.